Hello, Cosmic Explorers! Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the mysteries of the universe and beyond. Today we're honored to share incredible insights from the renowned Andromedan contactee Alex Collier. But before we get started, if you're passionate about expanding your cosmic consciousness and discovering the universe's secrets, hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon, and give this video a thumbs up. This helps us reach more truth seekers like you. Also, remember that we host a live webinar every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, so be sure to visit the link in the description for more information. But for now, here's today's video. Do you know what quantum harmonic displacement is? I think why M chip is bigger inside out. It's something now. It's uh, M chip bigger inside than out because of quantum harmonic displacement. Well, that's how we would define it. I would define it is that the ship itself is fifth density. That's what it frequencies, that's what it vibrates to. That's what it is. It's harmonic is fifth density, the, the 223. That's, that's their frame, that's their frequency range. When it comes into third density, they place themselves here. And in order to take a physical hold, they take a small portion of their ship and they lower the frequency to third density to somewhere in the, the 72 band of frequencies of third density. That's what it is. The inside of the ship is fifth density. That's why when I get on board, I got to wear the belt. Even if they're in our atmosphere, I have to wear the belt because the ship itself is fifth density. Okay. You have the point of this pen is third density and the rest of it is fifth density. All we see is the point of the pen. That's it. So if you want to call that quantum displacement, then okay, that works for me. It's amazing, guys. It's amazing. it's amazing. We're going to learn so much, and there are going to be so many aha moments. And you know, our ancestors used to call it magic, but it really isn't. It's quantum technology. We just didn't know what to call it. They didn't know what to call it. Next question, please. Very interesting that you talk about this thing. I think we've mentioned before, there's a, a TV show called Doctor Who. His ship is alive and it can project into our universe as a very small thing and uh, appears differently wherever it feels like. Um, but it generally kind of defaults to this um, old fashioned police box uh, and people walk into this little box and it's huge on the inside and uh, tiny on the outside. So it's very, he must be like based on a fifth dimensional character. You know, I, I don't know if this story is true, but I was told this story uh, by somebody at Wright Patterson that I used to know very well, who's, who's crossed over now. And he was telling me that when they had brought some wreckages over there in the 70s, that some MI, MI5, MI6 people were there or were invited to come in. And there was one particular craft that they were able to get into. And it was enormous on the inside. But on the outside, it fit in a uh, in a hangar. But it was much bigger on the inside, and they simply couldn't figure it out. And uh, those guys, I, I mean everybody, even the scientists. But he made a note to tell me that the MI five and MI six, how how profoundly it had impacted them. Uh, about that 
Now, I don't know how far back the Doctor Who stuff goes. You know, but maybe that was information they shared with the writers of that or the author of the original books. You know, I don't know. Did the original author have military experience of the Doctor Who books? You guys Very would know that. To know. Very difficult to know. But it started in 1963. Okay. And he first appears. Interesting. Actually, so, the first show was the day of Kennedy's assassination. So nobody saw it. Right. Right. The human brain, uh, if it's a question of art, the human brain is quantum. And what is the universe? Quantum. The human brain has neurons interconnected. And the universe has stars interconnected. The universe has multiple density levels. So does the human brain, even the galaxies, are interconnected. Everything is consciousness. So ask yourself, where am I? What's the last <laughs> line? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? I don't know how to pronounce that. You're where you want to be. You're where you want to be. If your awareness is asking that question here and now, then you are here because you want it to be. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. You could be a prince in a palace, some other solar system. You could be working on a loading dock for a, a galactic confederation unit. You could be doing anything else, but you are here asking that question. So you obviously wanted to be here. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the cosmos. We hope Alex Collier's insights have inspired you to look beyond the ordinary and embrace the extraordinary. If you found this video enlightening, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. We do read all the comments. Your feedback helps us create better content and brings us closer as a community of truth seekers. Together we can make a difference. Let's spread the light, expand our consciousness, and continue exploring the wonders of the universe. Until next time, stay curious and keep looking up. If you would like to see the Andromedan contactee Alex Collier live via video stream, we hold a live online seminar every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. For more information on upcoming live webinars, please visit alexcollier.org.